Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for all the friends and family you've given us, Lord, and thank you for just giving this awesome day, Lord, and this um, sunny day. And I pray that you just bless this marriage, um, Lord, that we'll have, Father, and I pray that um, you can just guide us and give us that knowledge on where we need to be and what we need to be doing, Lord. And um, I pray that you just consistently in the middle of our relationship, Father. I love you, Lord, in your loving name. Amen. Dear Caitlin, I love you. <clears throat> Thank you for always being there for me and loving me for who I am. You see my faults and you look right past them. <laughs> there are many things I love about you. What I love the most is that you're my best friend and my wife. I've never experienced such a brave, kind, caring, compassionate, intelligent woman until I met you. <clears throat> Caitlin Green, <laughs> you are where I'm supposed to be, forever and always. You are my rock to keep me grounded and my home to keep me safe. <clears throat> I promise to love you unconditionally no matter how hard and how easy it is. I will always be your biggest supporter and help you accomplish many goals that you have and will have. I vow to always stand beside you through life's ups and downs forever and always. Our life will be one big adventure and I vow to protect you through life and be there for you no matter what. To answer the question, yes, I would still love you if you were a worm. <laughs> I vow to grow old with you, laugh with you, cry with you, scream with you, and grow with you. You are my blessing and a gift from God that I'm so thankful for. As Lucas Scott once said, it's you, it's always been you. <laughs> <laughs> 